What's up, best friends? This is your best friend, Sam Pura, here for our first episode of Purified Audio. Today we're going to talk about STL Tonality. It's a brand new guitar plugin that was developed in conjunction with Howard Benson and his engineer Mike Plotnikoff, two very influential people in my life and my career. Now those dudes are responsible for some of my favorite records, records like Head Automatica's Propaganda, My Chemical Romance, Hoobastank, and P.O.D. just to name a few. Now what's really unique about this guitar plugin is it's not just modeling guitar amplifiers, it's specifically modeling the sound and the signal flow of those guys' entire career in history. So let's go ahead and dive into this plugin. I've recorded some DI guitars and bass. Let's play with it and let's see how it sounds. So let's go ahead and let's pull up this song. I'm just gonna play this song back so that you guys can hear it. Okay, cool. So let's take a look at this. So I've recorded a few guitars here. I have a Jim Root uh, Jazzmaster I've recorded, a 335, an SG, a Strat, then I have our bass DI track, okay? So let's just go ahead and listen to the beginning of this song and put it on loop, and we're gonna play with this STL plugin. Okay, cool. So basically, they have five different amps here that you can switch between. Looks like this is like a Bogner-ish amp. This is like a Marshall, a hot routed Marshall-ish amp. I think it's from a company called Wizard. Um, this is a Marshall JMP-ish amp, a Fender, and also a Vox Vibe. Now, what's a cool, unique feature is that when you switch amps, all of them are going to these different cabs here. So each amp has its own select cab that was recorded for it. And or you can turn that off and you can switch between any cab while you keep the same amp going here. So we also have some plug or some pedals that are involved and also you have your, that's it. You have a tuner and you have a gate as well on this plugin. So it's pretty basic stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and let's see how this sounds. Sounds pretty good. Okay, cool. Uh, now let's try this 335 here and let's see how this guy sounds. We'll just loop kind of the same section. That actually sounds pretty good there. Let's play with this a little bit. That's awesome. Let's try, let's switch some cabs here. This is pretty cool. So clearly the cab that is matched with that sounds best, but it is nice to have the option to switch between these other ones here. But I do like that. Let's see where that is. That's awesome. Okay, then I also recorded a Strat as well. I'm gonna try this Voxy type of tone on it. That sounds pretty good. Let's try the pedals. Let's see how weird we can get with that.
All right, so it has a, a reverb and a delay, which is it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, anyways, so if we blend those together, which is the Jim Root, the 335, and the Strat, they'll all sound like this. Let's hear that with the song. These sound pretty good. Let's check out this bass here. So this is just a basic DI that I have on this bass. I'm gonna run it through two channels. I'm gonna run it through a heavy channel and I'm also gonna run it through a clean channel and we're gonna try to blend the two and see what we can get out of it. That sounds awesome. Let's put a let's put some more pedals on this. Let's see if we can get a weird. We don't need any delay or reverb, obviously. That's pretty nasty. Let's look at this clean channel instead here. So this is like a Fender amp, and it's just going through like a Fender little combo there, it looks like. Let's turn this distortion pedal on, and let's get weird with some reverb. Why not? And then let's blend those together, and let's see how that sounds. That sounds great, this palm mute part. Here's without any plugins. <laughs> Let's try that. <laughs> and then let's turn them all back on. It honestly sounds really good. Like they're immediately workable tones that sound immediately good in a mix and they feel authentic and there's so much flexibility with your cab and amplifier selection that it's, it's honestly pretty incredible. Um, it sounds great. I really have nothing, nothing bad to say about this plugin except that I think that the tuner could actually have sense and actually like zero to 20, like negative, et cetera. Like it needs, it needs a little bit more than just this green thing. I tried to tune my guitar, it didn't sound that great when I actually used it. Besides the tuner, you know, I use, I have other tuners, but besides that, everything about this plugin is phenomenal. Uh, this reverb is a little, is a little insane, um, but I think it's pretty cool. I'll show you without an amp on it and without a cab. Uh, let me, Is that on? Uh, no, it's not on. Here you go. Like it's not much of a reverb. It's more of like a like a.
I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, besides that, uh, I really like the plugin. I think it sounds really good, though. I think all the amps and the pedals, uh, the, at least the distortion pedal and the delay pedal work really well. I don't really have anything else to say other than it sounds great to me, especially... Like, that's bypassed, obviously. <laughs> I'm honestly really impressed with this plugin. It sounds great. I see myself using this on a everyday basis when I'm recording DI bass, DI guitar. Uh, I highly recommend you check it out. If you do, please let me know what you think about it. As always, you can always contact me and be best friends. I'll see you guys soon.